Hello YouTube, Tacoma Comics coming at you here. Uh, I'm doing a video today, something going to combine a few things that I love, Star Wars and comics, and everything Star Wars and comics. This is a video for Beyond the Blast Doors 300 subscriber contest. If you have not already subscribed or checked out the channel, please do. It's awesome. I just started looking at it recently, and I'm really enthralled. So uh, my name's Ian. I'm just going through the rules for their contest. you got to be 18 or over. I think I got that. Um, my channel is Tacoma Comics. I'm supposed to tell you a little bit about it. It's I live in Tacoma for about 10 years now. I moved from New York. Uh, and I love comic books, and I wanted to share my love of comic books with everybody. Um, I read comic books from 1982 to 1989. I didn't miss an issue of most of the major Marvel titles. Went to college, came back from college, was broke, and sold them all or gave them all away. Uh, about a few years ago, 2012, stopped by a comic book shop. Uh, local mm -hmm. owner, uh, LCS here, Atomic Comics, said, Hey, you might want to check out Lock and Key checked out Lock and Key. I fell in love with comics all over again and been collecting heavily for the last seven years. So 12, 17, 18, six years, excuse me, I can't count, can't do math, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, really, uh, really love comics and really love sharing comics. That's what my channel is all about is just, you know, I think you get more out of your collection uh, the more you share it with the community and the more the community gets to see what you love and you get to see what the community loves. So um, hobbies, comics, Star Wars, and uh, and I think they wanted to share some of our favorite collectibles with the uh, with the audience for this contest. So here we go. Um, I've got tons. Oh, camera's going that way. Tons of action figures, but these four are the only ones that survived. And what I mean by survived, this is a very common. Common, uh, I'm having a horrible time with the camera here. Common story, if you are of my age and you had a bunch of toys and you went away to college, came back from college, and your original Millennium Falcon, and your original At At, and your original Luke Skywalker um, Land Speeder and X Wing Fighter, and a whole bunch of characters with their guns and capes and lightsabers were gone. Mom gave them away to my friend's uh, younger brother, and I didn't get him back. But these four survived from the uh, my original haul, going through the Sears catalog back in like 78, 79, 80. I want that for Christmas. I want that for Christmas. Ah, so there you go. Those are some of my favorite, favorite um, sentimental value uh, Star Wars figures. And I got the carrying case. If you've ever owned the carrying case, they made a C-3PO and a Darth Vader one. They're horrible because you open it up and all the, half the figures are upside down. Um, I love the case, but it's, it's, as a practical thing, it's horrible because everything falls apart when you try to open it up. Um, it was a cool idea. And everything in here, by the way, this is all stuff I bought after the fact. Those other four were the original ones, but these are all um, original figures. You know, I'm not so into collecting these and I'm looking to get like the mint in box stuff. This is good just to have them. It, it makes me feel good to have stuff that I used to have. And I love the Darth Vader helmet, even if it's a uh, parble as a practical deal. Another one of my favorite um, artifacts is this shirt. This is uh, Mark Echo. It came out in about 2000, I think. My wife got it for me as a Christmas present, and it's just a bedazzle Yoda. I absolutely love that. A uh, few other favorites that I have. Figure and Dan. Do, 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 do. Okay, enough of that right now. As you know who he is, you know where he's from. Awesome character. Uh, also, I have a big love of Lego in my family. Right there, we got Lego Dengar. Lego Bosk. He scared me as a kid, by the way. 1980, when Empire came out, I, I was a little frightened of him. Uh, Lego IG-88, they gave him some serious weaponry. And... Uh, he does not stand up very well, so I put a stand on him. And Lego Forlom. Little bug-eyed creature there. Finally, a, a friend got this for me. Looks like when I moved the computer, I uh, stopped the video. So this is two parts together. Um, if you know anything about me or you ever get to know me, I'm not a fan of the prequels. Uh, you know, that's at this point kind of a cliched. <laughs> 
position to take, but I was original hate of the prequels. The opening night of uh, Phantom Menace, I hated them from that day on. But I thought this is an awesome, awesome uh, droid, battle droid that a friend of mine got for me. I haven't seen a lot of them. Not even sure who it's by. It's got a little movable arm right here. Got these trans spark plugs, it looks like, for weaponry. Um, just these screws down here, these bolts down here for the, the legs. Um, I just thought that was a really, really cool character. I, I love that piece. I've always loved this piece, even if I don't love the character itself. Uh, finally, um, something else that I love is I got lots of Star Wars comics, but ones I wanted to show to you or that I love the most are the John Tyler, um, Christopher action figure covers. So we got the uh, Stormtrooper and Hoth battle gear there. Han Solo and Hoth battle gear. Sorry about that glare. Let's see if we can get away from that. That's just going to make it worse. There's uh, Yoda. Power droid. Real fancy name. Power droid, right? So I'm about to get away from the glare. Nope, more glare. Glare everywhere. There we go. Snaggletooth. Death Star droid. R5-D4. Hammerhead, Greedo, Star Destroyer Commander, he had the easiest and most evil job in the history of movies, Jawa, regular old Stormtrooper, a Tusken Raider, I love when people call them Tusken Raiders instead of Sand People, Obi-Wan, and Chewbacca. I bring these up because there's a bunch that are missing. The only ones I want are the ones that are the original uh, original trilogy characters. You know, I've got some of the ones that like um, BT and uh, and Doctor Aphra's droids and um, Silo and a couple of the ones in the Darth Vader book. I'm not that interested in those. It's the original trilogy figures that I want, and so I got a bunch here to trade. This is double. So if you want a Tusken Raider and you got something to trade that I don't have, let me know. Obi-Wan, R5-D4, and then I got an extra Jawa, and an extra Greedo. So if you uh, you want to trade, and you want one of those, a couple of those, let me know. Hit me up in the comments, and uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm more than happy. Uh, so definitely subscribe to Beyond the Blast Doors. If you like seeing my Star Wars stuff, subscribe to me. Give me a like. appreciate it. Got any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment place, and uh have a good day, guys. Two Thanks. hours later and a change of clothing. I forgot one part of the contest. Uh, Beyond the Blast Store is what I like about the channel, why I started watching it. I guess uh, Alex the Comic Quarter has been promoting the channel. A friend of his uh, runs it, and so I checked it out, and I really like about it, besides the immense knowledge of Star Wars that these guys have, is just the fact that you combine comic books and Star Wars together in uh, one video stream, so that's kind of cool to see both those things represented. All right, I think I held a check marks for the video contest. Thanks.